Hi guys, welcome sa SIP9. In this video ay itutuloy natin yung series natin on integral calculus. No? So, sa previous 2 or 3 videos, pinag-aralan natin yung mga formula sa nakikita nyo above the red line. No? And, uh, piniliwanag natin maigi kung paano gamitin yung mga formulas na yan. No? Kaya hindi ko na ulitin dito. So, kung hindi nyo siya naintindihan, ibig sabihin you have to watch the previous videos. No? Okay, so... In this video, mag-solve tayo ng apat na integral exercises, no? So, tignan natin yung number 1, x cubed. What is the integral of x cubed dx? Alin ang gagamitin natin? Siya yung number 1 o number 2? Number 1 kasi yung kanyang, tignan nyo yung x cubed niya. x cubed tsaka x to the n. Diba? Same, same form silang dalawa. So, according to the formula, no? gagawin lang natin is yung numerator natin ay x raised to the n plus 1 no? at ang n natin dito ay 3, di ba? Ang n natin ay 3. So, x raised to the 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 which is equal to x raised to the 4th over 4 and then pag final answer lalagyan natin ang c. So, yung final answer palagi yan dapat may Palagi siya dapat may plus C. Okay? Huwag nyo kalimutan. Next, what about sa number 2? Anong formula yung gagamitin natin? Ito yung formula number 2. Ang formula number 2, sinasabi niya pag meron kang coefficient, no? Other than 1, ito kasi 1 yung coefficient yan eh. Uh, ilalabas mo siya. You have to put it before the integral and then you get the integral of the remaining expression. Diba? So here, our coefficient is 16. Diba? So ilalagay natin yung 16 dito sa harap ng integral and then kunin natin yung x integral ng x cubed dx. No? Pero ang integral ng x cubed dx nakuha na natin doon sa number 1. Diba? So ano ang integral ng x cubed dx, this is equal to 16 times x to the 4th over 4. No? Which is equal to, mong sinabi ko sa inyo, pag whole number, pwede natin lagyan ng over 1, di ba? 16 over 1 times x to the 4th over 4, which is equal to 16 x to the 4th, multiply, multiply, pwede kayo mag-cancel dyan, no? Pero, Aralin nyo na lang. Which is 16 divided by 4. Ano ang 16 divided by 4? That's 4, di ba? 4 tapos x raised to the 4th. And then a plus c. Okay, huwag nyo kalimutan palagi yung plus c sa sagutin nyo sa integral. Exercises or problem. Alright? For number 3, we have this is still formula number 2. Lalabas natin yung negative 12 and then we get the integral of x squared dx which is equal to negative 12 times x raised to the 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 which is equal to Negative 12 over 1. No, pag, pag whole number or integer, nalagyan natin na over 1 para maging fraction siya. Times x cubed over 3, which is equal to negative 12 x cubed over 3. Multiply, multiply. Ano ang negative 12 over 3? That is negative 4 x cubed. And then again, wag kalimutan yung plus c. Ito na yung sagot natin. Okay, last we have, medyo mahirap na konti ito, no? Uh, 12 seventh, no? Lalagay natin sa harap. And then we have integral x to the negative 5 dx, which is equal to 12 seventh times x to the negative 5 plus 1, di ba? Over negative 5 plus 1. Which is equal to 12 seventh times x to the negative 4. A negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4 over negative 4. 
Oh, pwede ba tayo mag-cancel yung negative 4 tsaka 12? Pwede, no? Pwede nyo rin multiply na diretso, no? Pero mas maganda ma, reduce nyo na siya. 12 divided by 4 is just uh, 3. And then negative 4 divided by 4, this is just negative 1. Next, we multiply. This is equal to 3 7th. Of, sorry, 3 times... 3 times x to the negative 4, multiply natin yung dalawang yan. Over negative 7. Okay, so ito isang algebraic uh, uh, concept na baka hindi na ituro sa inyo. Pag meron ka negative sa numerator or sa denominator kagaya nito, pero yung isa sa kanila positive, isa sila sa kanila negative. You can actually put the negative dun sa gitna ng fraction. Tapos gawin mong fraction ito. Diba? So this becomes negative 3 seventh x to the negative 4. Final na ba yan? Hindi pa, no? Kasi yung negative 4 natin ay negative exponent siya. And usually, hindi yan pinapayagan, pero depende sa teacher nyo, no? So x to the negative 4 is actually 1 over x to the 4th. So, ibig sabihin, multiply natin itong negative 3 over 7 dito para makuha natin yung uh, answer in positive exponent. So, this is equal to negative 3 over 7 or negative 3 seventh times uh, 1 over x to the 4th which is equal to negative 3. Lagay na lang natin yung negative sa gitna. So, negative. So, kumbaga, naka-isolate mo na yung negative. So, 3 times 1 is 3. Tapos, 7x to the 4th is 7x to the 4th. Okay? Magkaiba ito. Ito, lagi na yung pagkakamali ito ng estudyante. Ah. Magkaiba ang negative 3 over 7th. Um, x to the negative 4. sa may na lang natin yung example magkaiba ang 4 7th x sa yan equal sa 4 over 7x pag nasa gitna yan pwede mo ilagay yan this is, this is equal yung ito this is equal to 4x over 7 pag nasa gitna ibig sabihin nasa taas yan kasi may over 1 yan dito pag nilagyan natin ng over 1. Pag multiply natin yan, 4x tapos 7. Magiging equal siya dito. Pero pag nasa ibaba siya yung x mo, hindi mo yan pwedeng itaas or hindi pwedeng ilagay sa gitna. No? So, huwag yung kalimutan yan dahil hindi yan usually sinasabi sa mga books. Alright, so pero wala pa tayo nakalitaan. Ang nakalitaan natin ay ang plus c. So, Pinaka-final answer natin ay meron plus c. Alright, so sana ay may natutunan kayo dito sa ating mixing video. Uh, gusto ko yung invite si Sipnayan, mag-subscribe kayo sa ating YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash Sipnayan.ph and our uh, website, no, Sipnayan.com. See you!